Look at the storm reports. All of these icons indicate hail, damaging winds, even one tornado reported just south of Flagler, south of I-70 yesterday. Brief, lasted about five, maybe eight minutes at most, and then lifted away. Today, right now, we're clear. We're looking live at satellite and radar. There's not a whole lot, really nothing going on yet. But that'll all change once we get to this afternoon and we heat up. So it is going to be a first alert weather day for those scattered severe thunderstorms. And again, the risk is in a different area. It's up and down I-25 from the southern border, Trinidad up toward Pueblo, the Springs, Denver metro area included, Boulder, Fort Collins, all in that risk. And as you back up into the foothills and the mountains, the risk is also there. Back toward Idaho Springs, Golden, Winter Park, you're in this risk. And again, the storms mainly will cause some localized hail maybe an inch in diameter or larger, so that's about the size of quarters, and some localized wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. The tornado risk, I think that's really low for us today. It's mainly going to be about the wind and hail and even some localized flooding potentially today because these storms are going to be slow movers, not getting out very fast. So if they pop up over you, it might be a while. Here's future casts. Keep an eye on the time as we go through 2 o'clock. Spotty storms are starting to fire up around Castle Rock, maybe in the foothills and around the Continental Divide as well. Caution if you have some plans maybe to go hiking or something today. Have a plan so you can get down to safety. Here we are at 5 o'clock tonight. Look at the widespread storms around the Denver metro area. And again, they're slow movers, so some localized heavy rain might squeeze out some hail in spots. So something we'll be watching. Meteorologist Joe Ruck will be here this evening keeping an eye on the radar for you. At 7 o'clock this evening, still some scattered storms up toward Fort Collins, Greeley, and then they slowly taper as we lose the heat of the day. Statewide, again, watch that I-25 corridor. Otherwise, we'll be in pretty good shape with much less stormy activity on the plains. Some relief for you there. Western Slope also looking good, but maybe a spotty storm or two firing up this afternoon along the Western Slope. One thing I want you to be aware of is that flood potential. I know this is a busy map. We've got the green area. That's where flooding is possible with the storms, but there's this yellow area from Pueblo back to Colorado Springs, back towards Salida. That's the area where I think it's more likely we see some localized flooding with those slow moving and pretty widespread storms. High temps today right around 80 in Denver, Boulder and Fort Collins. 70s in the high country and cooking on the western slope. We pop into the 90s. It's 96 for you today in Grand Junction. Here's your first alert, super seven day forecast. So we'll keep the chance for another first alert day tomorrow. Almost a carbon copy with scattered storms popping up. We're going to monitor that. We're at 81 degrees. Tuesday, we start to dry out, still in the 80s, and then Wednesday and Thursday, potential for another first alert day because it's going to be so hot by Thursday, pushing the mid-90s. Probably going to be the hottest day of the week. Storms on Friday will help back us off a little bit into the 80s by the weekend, Kennedy, but overall, very summer-like and active pattern ahead for us. Yeah.